Artificial intelligence technology has come a long way in recent years. And the latest iteration of OpenAI's GPT model, GPT-4, is no exception. This advanced AI technology has already shown promising results in a variety of college-level exams, including the Uniform Bar Exam and the SAT. In this video, we'll take a closer look at GPT-4's capabilities, limitations, and performance on some of the most challenging exams out there. But before we start, hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date for more scary AI topics. GPT-4's Capabilities GPT-4 is the most advanced AI technology released by OpenAI. It is capable of generating eight times the text of its predecessor, and can comprehend and discuss pictures with impressive accuracy. Unlike its predecessor, GPT-4 can accurately see and assess images, making it a versatile tool for a wide range of applications. One of the most exciting aspects of GPT-4's capabilities is its ability to adapt its personality based on user input. Developers and users can modify the AI's character to be different from the usual style of chat GPT. For example, students can turn GPT-4 into a Socratic tutor that will never give students the answer but guide them through problem solving. Or they can turn the AI into a Shakespearean pirate. GPT-4 is also highly steerable, meaning that developers can control the AI's output by providing it with specific prompts. GPT-4's performance on college-level exams One of GPT-4's biggest accomplishments is becoming a licensed practitioner of law. It scored 298 four hundredths, landing in the 90th percentile on the uniform bar exam, whereas GPT-3.5 scored 213 four hundredths in the 10th percentile. In addition to the bar exam, GPT-4 also performed well on the SAT earning a score of 1410 out of 1600, which puts it in the 88th percentile. It also aced the SAT reading and writing section with a score of 710 out of 800 and the math section with a score of 700 out of 800. GPT-4's performance on the GRE was mixed. It scored in the 99th percentile on the verbal section, and in the 80th percentile on the quantitative section but only scored in the 54th percentile on the writing test. GPT-4 has also been tested on college-level biology exams, passing the USA Biology Olympiad semifinal exam with a score in the 99th to 100th percentile. It has also passed a host of advanced placement exams, including AP Art History, AP Biology, AP Environmental Science, AP Macroeconomics, AP Microeconomics, AP Psychology, AP Statistics, AP U.S. Government, and AP U.S. History. It received a score of 5 on all of these exams. GPT-4 has also been tested on sommelier exams, which are notoriously difficult to pass. It earned a score of 92% on the introductory sommelier exam, 86% on the certified sommelier exam, and 77% on the advanced sommelier exam. GPT-4's performance on other exams In addition to college-level exams, GPT-4 has also been tested on high school-level exams, such as the AMC 10 and 12, which are administered to high school students and cover mathematical topics, such as algebra, geometry, and trigonometry. Also, GPT-4 scored in the 6th to 12th percentile on the AMC-10 and the 45th to 66th percentile on the AMC-12. Overall, GPT-4's performance on various exams is impressive. But it's important to note that the AI is not infallible. Like its predecessors, GPT-4 can still make logical and factual mistakes, and it has been known to hallucinate facts and make reasoning errors. The base model is slightly better than GPT-3.5, but the gap widens after reinforcement learning from human feedback RLHF, training. Another limitation of GPT-4 is that it generally lacks knowledge of any event after September 2021. This is a significant limitation, 
as it means that the AI may not be able to provide up-to-date information or insights on current events. How GPT-4 can be used Despite its limitations, GPT-4 has the potential to be a valuable tool in a wide range of applications. Its ability to generate large amounts of text and comprehend images makes it well-suited for tasks, such as content creation, customer service, and even medical diagnosis. It could also be used in educational settings as a tool for tutoring, grading, and even generating test questions. The Ethics of AI Taking Exams while GPT-4's ability to pass college-level exams is undoubtedly impressive, it raises some ethical questions. Some argue that allowing AI to take exams undermines the value of education and the hard work that students put into studying for exams. Others worry that the use of AI in exams could lead to increased cheating and a devaluation of the knowledge and skills that exams are designed to measure. Furthermore, there are concerns about fairness and bias. How can we ensure that AI taking exams is evaluated fairly, and that the exam questions and grading systems are free from bias? Could the use of AI in exams perpetuate existing inequalities and create new ones, particularly for students who may not have access to the same technology or resources as others? In conclusion, GPT-4 is an impressive AI technology that has shown promise in a wide range of applications, from law and medicine, to education, and marketing. While it's not without its limitations, its ability to generate text and comprehend images with impressive accuracy makes it a valuable tool in a variety of industries. As developers and users continue to explore the capabilities of GPT-4, it's likely that we'll see even more exciting applications for this powerful AI technology in the years to come. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below what you thought of it. Also don't forget to click the video on screen, because in it I am going to tell you more about the fascinating scary world of AI.